Master the art of self-control and protect yourself from narcissistic abuse. We're glad that you took the time to watch this video. We know that getting over a narcissistic relationship can be difficult and overwhelming, but we want you to know that you are not alone on this journey. Every step of the way, we are here to help. Don't keep your pain to yourself. Let us assist you in feeling better. Check out the description for more information if you want to talk to one of our expert therapists. There is no reason to wait since consultations start at just $1. Let us begin your path to healing and hope today. Now, let's continue. Individuals with narcissistic tendencies are susceptible to emotional vulnerability because they view displays of emotion as a sign of weakness and danger. This is likely due to their lack of emotional support during childhood, resulting in difficulty expressing their feelings throughout their lives. Additionally, they believe that physical strength is crucial in earning the respect and admiration of those around them. There are few things more debilitating than feeling unworthy of esteem and recognition. In this video, I will explain the dynamics of a narcissist's silent treatment, whether you are on the receiving end or not. Unlike narcissists, who use silence to gain admiration and attention, we do it to give them a taste of their own medicine. Today, I will discuss how to use silence effectively to deal with narcissists and what to anticipate when they are absent. Narcissists are prevalent in our society, making it difficult to avoid them altogether. Therefore, it's helpful to know how to handle them in general and how to avoid engaging with them. To safeguard oneself from a narcissist's emotional manipulation, it is essential to take a stand and decline to acknowledge or respond to their advances. It's critical that we don't give narcissists an opportunity to get under our skin with our own form of silence. In a narcissist's case, they employ this technique as a means of punishment and control over their subjects. When faced with criticism, rejection, or any form of confrontation, narcissists often choose to remain silent. They keep quiet while planning their next supply run or opponent's destruction, as they are too preoccupied with their malevolent intentions. Narcissists' sudden silence is almost always deliberate and used in a destructive manner. Thus, their silence is cruel, vindictive, and driven purely by malice. On the contrary, the primary reason why we resort to using the silent treatment, adopting a grade rock approach, or cutting off all emotional communication with a narcissist is to safeguard ourselves from their harmful actions. It was exceedingly unwise to have faith in a narcissist, and this has become apparent to us. We are fully aware that interacting with narcissists can be hazardous. We anticipate that the narcissist will provoke us through verbal and behavioral means in an attempt to push us to our limits. It's crucial to bear in mind that if we don't speak up when they feel mistreated, the narcissist will accuse us of emotional abuse and neglect. They will accuse us of giving them the silent treatment, even though they are the ones who use it as a tool for cruelty and manipulation. In other words, the term hypocrite perfectly describes narcissists. When we have to remain quiet to protect ourselves, we are viewed as the villains, even though they employ silence as a means of violence and manipulation. However, this is simply because narcissists struggle to take their own advice. Our decision to remain silent has troubled and perplexed the narcissist. They find themselves in a bind since we are not contributing to calming their anger. Narcissists can only harm us if we give them access to our deepest thoughts and emotions. Thus, our silence is our strongest defense. When we choose to remain silent, it's a way to deny narcissists what they want. We are not submitting to any form of authority. Ultimately, it's wise to take care of oneself and not let anyone, especially a narcissist, persuade us otherwise. Moreover, a narcissist may accuse us of being one of them if we choose to ignore them, but this is not the case. Ignoring someone does not always imply a desire to emotionally harm them. It has been discovered that ignoring a narcissist is the most effective means of breaking free from their control. It's the best way to get a narcissist to stop bothering us, and we even earn extra points by not expressing our emotions as we normally would. A narcissist will manipulate and use us if we allow them to. Therefore, it's essential not to show any emotional, empathetic, or other responses to them. If ignoring them doesn't work, they will have to find another approach to gain access to us. To be frank, we shouldn't assist narcissists in any way. 
Sometimes they resort to name-calling and verbal abuse to discredit and harm us in the hopes of provoking a reaction. Those who choose to avoid interacting with narcissists are more likely to be appreciated by them. We need space from them, and the best way to achieve that is through the silent treatment or gray rocking. Our mental and emotional well-being is too important to waste on individuals who seek to drain us. Narcissists can create significant problems if we don't protect ourselves, so we must take charge and prevent them from interfering any further. In fact, I want to encourage everyone to liberate themselves from narcissists as much as feasible. Remember, the only way they can influence us is if we give them our emotional investment. Maintaining self-control when dealing with narcissists is essential. If we allow them an opportunity, they will take charge. That's all I can offer today, but I hope you found the information helpful. Please leave a comment below to let us know your thoughts. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell for updates on new videos uploaded to our channel. Thank you. So, let's summarize today's video. Do you find yourself constantly being drained and hurt by someone in your life who seems to always put you down and control you? You may be dealing with a narcissist, but you are not alone. In this video, we just discussed how to master the art of self-control and protect yourself from narcissistic abuse. Narcissists are emotionally vulnerable individuals who view emotions as a sign of weakness and danger. They often use silence to gain admiration and attention, but when faced with criticism or rejection, they choose to remain silent to punish and control their subjects. On the other hand, we use silence as a means to safeguard ourselves from their harmful actions. By adopting a grey rock approach or cutting off all emotional communication, we deny narcissists what they want and ultimately protect ourselves. When we ignore narcissists, they will have to find another approach to gain access to us. However, it's important not to give them any opportunity to get under our skin with our own form of silence. It's crucial to take a stand and decline to acknowledge or respond to their advances. Our decision to remain silent has troubled and perplexed the narcissists. They find themselves in a bind since we are not contributing to calming their anger. Narcissists can create significant problems if we don't protect ourselves, so we must take charge and prevent them from interfering any further. By mastering the art of self-control and protecting ourselves from narcissistic abuse, we can start living a healthier and happier life. So let's start taking the necessary steps to protect ourselves today. Check the description box below for more information about this. That's all for today's video guys. Thank you for watching this and if you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them below. If you want to receive notifications when we upload new videos, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon below. Have a wonderful day everyone!